Hi, Wayne Woolpit, UK Chief Commissioner, and welcome to the latest edition of Scoutadelic. <laughs> YouTube channel just for you and Mike and we've got a jam-packed fifth show for you this month we have got this Here they come. Look. we've also got that oh. but first I'm in Derby to find a co-host so who is my co-host going to be this month Hi, I'm Sue from Derby, and I'm the Regional Commissioner for the East Midlands, and this is my 60 second Scouter. My one thing that I always pack for camp is my toothbrush, because even if I don't get time for a shower, I get time to clean my teeth. My hero is Emily Pankhurst and the suffragettes, women who fought for what they believed in. My three words to describe scouting would be fun, opportunity, and friends. My favorite meal would be steak and chips. Oh, my favourite colour is purple. The animal that most represents me is the black panther, a bit of a Bargera, isn't it? My dream job growing up was actually um, as a nurse, but I didn't just have a nurse's outfit, I had the sister's uniform. Who would win in a fight, Bear Grylls or the bear? It has to be Bear Grylls, an inspiration to us all. Three things that I would take on a desert island are my toothbrush again, something to make a fire, and a book to keep me entertained. My first next chief was yellow and green, 16th Augustine. The best event I've ever been to has got to be the Queen's Scout Parade at Windsor. Oh. <laughs> so welcome to Scout of Dalek. Hi Mike. How are you? I am really, really good. Good, good. Um, so, you're here to show me a scouting skill. So what skill are you going to show me this month? Today we're going to look at making a blister. Fantastic. So I feel that we're going to need a lot of space, so we're going to nip outside. What does a ballista look like for those that don't know? And here is one I made earlier. Oh wow, so that... And the marshmallows, not for eating. Really? Let's see if I can... <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you need to make a ballista? Okay, so we need six canes, a plastic cup. Plastic cup? And some elastic bands. Fantastic. Right, yeah. so what's the first thing that we need to do? So the first thing we're going to do is make a triangle right. with our canes. Okay. Is it on the floor? Triangle. A triangle, that's it. Not and a dodecahedron. No, not a dodecahedron. Okay. I can't say that. We're going to take some elastic bands and join these together. Now, don't do knots. So you do you? No, we, okay. could, we could do it with knots, but All we're going right. to use elastic bands. And then now we've got to make it into a pyramid. Oh, right, okay. So, um, Ooh, okay. Yeah, so right. if you're going to join, it's easier to use another one, or you could possibly go through that one. I'm going to be energy efficient with my uh, rubber bands and. You're going to utilise the same ones, are you? I am. Are you hey! Oh, well, you see, you're much quicker. Okay, so what's the next bit? You can see there you've got. Um, a cup, so in your cup you've got to make three holes in the bottom. Three holes? Anywhere specific? No, I don't think so. Okay. And it does say you can use a pencil. I can use a pencil? Yeah. Right. If any injuries happen, <laughs> not my fault. Is it working? <laughs> no. So alternatively, you can very safely... You're providing me with a knife. <laughs> That's a, be dangerous thing. That's a dangerous thing. That is. <laughs> well, think of it this way. If you do have an injury, I've got it on camera as to how it happened and what happened. <laughs> so that's how it should work. Right, okay. Just a little hole. Three holes. Three holes. And then you're going to have to join some elastic bands together. No, I've got to get the elastic bands in. I think it's the, <laughs> it's the first bit. Yeah, you got to put the knot first. Really? <laughs> I love oh, I love it. my team. Oh. <laughs> the person who's you teaching me this running, skill. You were running ahead, you see. Running okay, ahead. all right. So you're going to join some elastic bands together as well. That will make it easier. Don't get my hands in. 
Not suitable for adults. <laughs> May I point out? Or well, adult hands at least. There we are. One Yay. is in. Yay. Well, yeah, one is in. <laughs> uh, one is out. <laughs> That's three. Um, I'm trying to figure out. What yeah, no, 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 yeah, try right. to read it. Yeah. Oh, right, yes. Yeah? Yes, 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 yes. Got it? Yes, it was okay. just, I was being a bit stupid. Yeah. <laughs> How many extra bands do you need? Just so it pulls straight, so probably three. Three. You want it in the middle there, but you want to stretch it as well. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Right, so three. Yeah. Three is a magic number. Three. So then, what do I do now? Right, now you've got to attach your cup. Okay. So, oh, so I'm, I'm gonna, oh, right, okay. And, and then stretch. <laughs> and then stretch there. Stretch there. Okay, and then stretch. Yeah. There, okay. Yeah? Is it looking good? Yeah, definitely. Well, hey. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Ready? Steady. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> I feel like I'm winning today. <laughs> good one. Last month, um, Jack set his word challenge which was teamwork and you've sent in some fabulous photos and we've chosen just the best five to show you today so the first one is from jack avery on his trip to madagascar for the million hands campaign and he's showing water aid teamwork uh, this is helios explorers working as a team to work out that they're actually on the wrong platform at the monopoly run Oh gosh. Yeah. This third one is somebody called Sue Harris. Mm, shows better. some cubs from a place called First Sitwell. Um, and they were playing games to show teamwork. This one is Nathan Pearson uh, working as a team to create a platform that someone could actually sleep on with some explorers and network members. And the last one is from Sean Annerley um, and showing cubs working together to navigate for the cubbery. So that was last month, but this month we need a new word. So, Jags, take it away. Here's Jags with his word of a month. Adventure. Fantastic, thank you very much, Jags. So this month, Jags' word is? Adventure. So I'm sure you've got lots of adventures. Exactly, and we want to see them. So tweet us, Facebook us, go on our website, show us your adventure in scouting this month. It's that part of the show where we Find out what you have been up to. And this month, we have an exceptional night in the life of, which is... West Mercia Cubs and their trip to Gibraltar. And this is what they've got up to. My name's Mark, I'm ACC Cubs for West Mercia. Welcome to a week in the life of Cubs in Gibraltar. See you all the way down the hill. Catch up, have a quick look at Spain. And a look at Africa. Spain's over to the side and Africa's in front of us.
them straight. That's it. This is us bowling with the Gibraltar Cup. Visit a scout group in Orlando. I visited Crew 6. Walmart. It's basically Asda. Animal Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> See the characters? Beautiful conservation centre here at Disney, which is worth visiting. With characters, animals, and some wilderness explorer badges. One thing I would recommend is have quite a lot of change in your car or in your purse with you, because there are quite a number of toll bridges as you can travel around. And you don't want to be caught at one of them. So. Wow. Oh, there it is! There it is. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh! Here it comes. <laughs> Do you like it? Zip lining. This is not. I'm gonna turn the camera off. It's a cat in a hat. drive it's where most of the food is at like you can't drive a second down the street without being bombarded by food the best food place in all of America just saying Hello. Hi. Hello. so the Wagga box is made of wood and it has been around on St George's Day activities up and down the country to ask a certain question, which is? The one quality I have for slaying dragons is? And these are the responses that we got. The one quality I have for fighting dragons is my big voice! The one quality I have for fighting dragons is courage. The one quality I have for fighting dragons is screaming really loud so they're scared. The one quality I have for fighting dragons is? And the one quality for a fighting dragons is having wet feet. One 
thing I have for fighting dragons is bravery. The one quality I have for fighting dragons is probably uh, I can run really fast so I would run round and make it dizzy so it would fall over and then I could tie him up. This little fella <laughs> has appeared on this episode this month but have you spotted him? If you have, leave us a message, tweet us or send us a message on Facebook and you may earn yourself a nice, slightly cool badge. So it's that time of the show where we are challenged. However, last month we were challenged to do the Scout Law and we can reveal that... You were beaten by Gina from first say um, and it was done in 21 seconds and no errors at all. <sighs> I'm never going to get to the top. However, this month, this is what we've got to do. Hello, we're Scout It Out. My name is Alex. This is Aaron. Hi. And we're here to tell you about a challenge. And that challenge is to see how many reef knots you can do in 90 seconds. So what we want you to do is we want you to record a video of yourself tying as many reef knots as you can in 90 seconds. So yeah, that is your challenge for this month with Scout at Alec from us here at Scout It Out blog. Um, that's scoutitoutblog.wordpress.com. Are you ready? I'm ready. On your marks. Get set. Go. That's it. 15. 15. 15. Are you ready? Yes. On your marks? Yeah. Get set. Go. <laughs> I was like, what? Why is it happening? You've wasted our opening second. Let's have a list. Yes, a winner, and I don't do 
knots. And yes, another win for a female co-host. Yes, we can do it. But I'm sure you can do knots even better than I can. So send in your <laughs> send in your videos. Oh, how do they send it in? Well, they can go on Twitter or Facebook or go on our website and just send them across because I want the hair knocked off the top spot. So please, 90 seconds, you can do it. So that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and be creative. Be part of our next show. You can even be sitting in this chair. Indeed. And you can even get yourself a fantastic Scatadelic badge. But above all, be a little scatterdelic. Hi, so you need scatterdelic? YouTube channel just for you. I'm Mike. Show. We've got a lot packed in.